Magandang araw mga kabusing at welcome back sa ating munting channel. Bago pa man namayagpag ang pangalan ni Pacquiao sa larangan ng boxing at makilala bilang nag-iisang 8 division world champion, taong 1997 ay may isa rin tayong Pinoy na nagwagi ng isang world title belt matapos mapadayo sa bansang United Kingdom. Hindi man ganun kasikat tulad ni Manny Pacquiao pero napabilang rin ito sa mga world champion sa bansang Pinas. Bilang underdog sa laban ay hindi nagpakita ng kaba ang Pinoy matapos makasagupa ang hometown boxer ng bansang United Kingdom. Alam kong karamihan sa atin ay hindi kilala ang buksingerong ito. Eric Hamile, tubong sila City Negros Occidental Philippines. Pinasok ang pagiging pro boxer taong 1995. Napatuloy ang karira ni Hamile sa boxing sa ring record na 10 wins, 5 losses and 5 knockout. At nakuha rin nito ang kampiyonato sa regional and minor titles. former WBO Intercontinental Minimum Weight Title at WBO Intercontinental Light Flyweight Title. May nakakabatang kapatid rin ito na isang buksingero na si Renante Hamili na minsang nakalaban si Pacquiao at ang dalawang legend ng Mexico na sina Eric Morales at Juan Manuel Marquez. Taong 1997 nang mabigyan ng malaking pagkakataon si Eric Hamili na mapalaban sa isang world title fight para sa bakanting WBO minimum title. Laban naman sa buksingero ng United Kingdom na si Mikey Catwell na minsan na rin naging challenger sa isang world title fight para sa WBO World Light Flyweight title. Pero ito ay natalo by a split decision. Kaya sa laban nito sa ating kababayan ay bumaba ito ng timbang sa minimum weight class na noon ay may ring record na 13 wins, 4 losses and 2 knockout. Advantage ang ating kababayan sa edad, may edad pa lang ito ng 20 years old. Samantala naman ang kanyang makakalaban ay 33 years old. Na ang laban ng dalawang buksingero ay ginanap sa London Arena United Kingdom. Fainting to him now, trying to draw the leads and leave them out of range. Swings from Campbell, but they were landing on the gloves. This little fella keeps very cool, very cool. Campbell. There's a lot of pressing in this round. A level of the opposition. But uh, Mickey, that, that wasn't Mickey's normal style there. He forced all the way through that round, but not doing anything reckless. He's a controlled little boxer. This may be his last chance. There's a good shot. Good right hand there. Forcing and kind of puffing a little bit. The 
again, the nose. Looking as though it's got a little bit worse. Giving absolutely everything Campbell, but look at the fight back here from Jamili. The damage is only going to be made worse, and he's going to fall in into this little spellers here. This fella so cool. And for a 20-year-old, amazingly cool. That, you can see he has to think every move that can't afford it. He looks flustered for the first time. Now then. The punches seem to catch him on the ankles, making him miss now. He didn't miss that one. He'll be right as he came in. This is a better round for Campbell so far. That is a good sign for Campbell. Doing a fair bit of missing here. He swung it round. Referees have done that. Unbelievable. Oh, the referees no. counted that as nonsense. That is a terrible. Round the neck. And he swung him round. That was a Thinking terrible. It was a knockout. Terrible piece of refereeing that was. Disgraceful. Good news for little Mickey, I suppose. Well, Jamili, Jamili's work has the same quality about it, man. And maybe Campbell can just stick with what he's doing. He's just going to grit his way away here to victory. He's gritting his teeth here, all right. The pretty important stage here. We're getting real success. Campbell's digging the moment of the fight. Now, watch this. I mean, that was a, an arm around the neck. The, the, the glove did not land in target. The, the wrist landed on his neck and knocked him off balance. Here it goes. No way. In your wildest dreams without a punch, threw him off balance. And the referees uh, deemed that a knock. The cut prevent Campwell from winning this world title. Oh, by Jamili. Walking towards that South Pod jab and hook. I wonder if he knows this is the last round, Simon. And suddenly Jamili's picking up the pace, he's picking Campwell off. Campwell's struggling in the corner. And the crowd in the corner willing him to get out of it, but he's taking some leather now. Suddenly the fight switches again. See, as soon as Campbell becomes sloppy and, and goes looking to, to do damage, that is, is when he ends up with the second prize here. The things were going nicely. We don't know what took place in that corner. Maybe he's been sent out for the last round, but uh, he's going back to this overly aggressive, uh, sloppy stuff, and he's running into trouble. And the uh, punches that are landing for Jamelia are making the cut that much worse. I can't believe if it was close to going in the last round that it's going to carry now. Back he goes once more. The doctor comes up once more. The doctor must stop this. The doctor must stop this. I'll be very, very surprised if it's over. Yep, it's over. Oh, what a shame. Hindi nagpadala ang ating kababayan sa mga taong nanonood sa laban. Ginawa nito ang nararapat sa ibabaw ng ring. Nakipagsabayan ito sa hometown boxer na alam naman sa Pinoy na kayang-kaya niya ang mga patama nito. Hanggang sa round 2 ay nakagawa ng advantage sa ating kababayan. Matapos nitong matamaan ang ilong ng kalaban at nasugatan ito dahilan para magdurugo at natawagan din ang ating kababayan na isang knockdown matapos kumunikta ang right hook ng kalaban. Pero hindi malinis ang pagkatama, may dalang tulak dahilan para ma-outbalance si kabayan. Pero nang umabot sa round 8 ay dito na natapos ang laban matapos tuluyan ang basagi ni kabayan ng ilong ng hometown boxer. Dahilan para hindi na ito pinayagan ng doktor sa laban na magpatuloy pa. At dahil suntok ang tumama sa patuloy na pagdurugo ng ilong ng kalaban, ay dito nanalo ang ating kababayan by a technical knockout sa round 8. So yan muna ang ating video sa ngayon mga kabusing. Maraming salamat po.